still work around it. They can still force Blacklist International to follow their tempo. And still, this is going back. How does Lee Louise start these fights up? I don't know. We will see because we are jumping into game four in the land of dawn. Once again, this is Blacklist International going up against RQ Akira in a best of five series. Will RQ bring us to a game five? Remember, match point here for Blacklist. If they're going to get this game, if they can take this game, they're going to continue oh. their journey, but Louise no, might no, not continue his. No. Oh, oh, there's the first blood here for All My Venus. Louise, you know, just taking too many hits this early on. That's not how you want to start it up. So now King going to be the focus here. They get the stun. He's in a bad position. You don't want to go down here. Like Haji grabbing a kill. And already off to a strong start here for Blacklist International. That is definitely huge and very troublesome for RQ Brazil. Already two members down. Not only Louise, one of your prime roamers, but also your jungler. Ooh, two to zero start looking quite shaky. And Blacklist has been able to get this even before level four. And this is the one thing that we mentioned about Haji on the Farsa. She's gonna have so much damage even without that feather airstrike. And the fact that she's able to have that mini stun when she can combo out her skills, it's enough for them to use that type of utility to take these really aggressive roamers from RQ Brazil down. I mean, not only that too, but you know, grabbing an early kill like this, always kind of what we see from these mid lane mages running the mystery shop they get early kills it gets even more devastating and when you're talking about someone specifically like farsa who the burst damage is already there pretty early on in comparison to xavier who needs a little bit more time to build up here that's going to be pretty devastating here this very might... very devastating and on top of that like you mentioned the farsa there's just so much movement and once blacklist gets a little bit of a lead like this it's going to be very reminiscent of game one. They're going to be hyper aggressive. They don't need to rubber band. They're just going to come in hard and fast. Oh, well, Haji going to wings by wings. Should be just fine here. Now, it, position wise, it looks like they're both still going to fight for the turtle here. King going to be taking quite a bit of damage. Like the final blow comes out. Edward looking for oh. the kill. King, though, able to secure the turtle under the nose of Wise as they still continue on. Donning Light going to come out here, but Wise and Takashi stuck together. Wise falling, Luis with the kill, able to pick one up themselves. Way the Dragon comes out too. Back and forth they go, now it's Luis on the run. Still gonna be chased down here, can't bob and weave out of there. Trying to run oh. for the hills, Edward on the hunt. Oh. It's Luis, but can't get away. Edward able to grab the kill. Ah, oh, he it was so close to escaping, but unfortunately at the last moment, even before King was able to help him out, he had to get taken down. Now Blacklist with the 1,000 gold lead, but Haji in the mid side, he's gonna get taken down and a really good trade for RQ Brazil as now they're gonna center their focus onto the next control on the map. Taking a look at these items now. We are seeing Oheb with a nice advantage, very close to already getting that Blade of Despair in. Everyone else, pretty typical. The only major thing we have to look at is Edward with a slight gold advantage. Overall, though, in the gold lane, things are at a standstill. So that is one thing that Brazil does have going for them here. The gold lead does not escape too much. Only 600 gold, still 40 seconds until the turtle. So I wouldn't count Brazil out just yet. Well, as you saw, Clock of Destiny now being picked up here by Saigon. He's going to try to catch up here with Haji a little bit, but still the focus on the bottom side. Going to make Gusa Lagusa do some work here, trying to bob and weave, avoiding those airstrikes. And still, just going to get poked down a little bit, but look at the patience here. King and Louise waiting around, waiting for an initiation, as well as Wise. He's going to be walking in here in just a second, going to spot out King, and not sure if they want to commit onto it just yet. A lot of focus on these two gold laners by both teams as we find ourselves in a standstill. And even Saigon coming here from the backside for now. What I do notice is that Blacklist, they need to be careful because they don't exactly have a strong initiator. Whereas RQ, they have Louise, but once again, Feather Airstrike gonna be popped off just to deal a little bit more damage, to have a little bit more clear, as well as to zone the members of RQ Brazil away. But was it too quick? Well, they know they don't have the feathered airstrike here. Going to be working on the turtle. Wise trying to go in. Heavy spin oh. comes out. It's King again, securing the turtle. 
under Wise. And now it's Oh My Venus gonna be trapped here. Oheb there to back up Oh My Venus. Not gonna commit though. Uh oh. They're still gonna be chasing down Takashi. Could be in trouble. Gets out. Flicker from Saigon. Here comes Edward. Electo final blow, but he's gonna get kicked by the way of the dragon. They find King punishing him down. Make it two. Blacklist International punishing RRQ Akira. This is definitely very troublesome. Saigon trying to do something there, but Blacklist does not want to give this up just yet. It does seem like finally they're going to back off, but not until they push Brazil all the way back to their base. And at this point, Blacklist is just going to start hunting, taking out some of their jungle and feeding off of Brazil's own resources. I mean, Farsa has been so huge in all of these skirmishes, right? And if we take a look at the sub emblems, we see that she's going for more penetration. And even without those Four items earlier on. She only has the Clock of Destiny, if I'm not mistaken. Without the Winter Truncheon, she's already dealing that much damage. So imagine the Winter Truncheon coming through. She has more damage from, let's say, the Holy Crystal if they want to be crazy about it. That's just so much magic damage that they need to be able to get free. Whereas when we look at RRQ Brazil with the way they're going for these team fights, Luis is primarily just trying to protect Gusta Lagusta. And therefore, he's unable to make those plays into the back line to eliminate these threats like Haji. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't completely count anyone out just yet. With Sagan not having any deaths, he wasn't too before far behind Haji in terms of gold. He has also locked in the Clock of Destiny. Once he gets that Winter Truncheon, there oh. may be some plays to happen. There was the burst right there. They got to respect it, Luis. The Bob and Weave out of the Feathered Airstrike committed as well. You can already see, though, like some of the damage, especially from Kusa Lagusa, is building up here. Once he gets that Berserker's Fury, if he doesn't have it yet, it will be there. And then again, Electro Flash with that sprint is crucial here on the Irithyll pick. Conceal play gonna come out. Luis on the hunt, flickers in. Oh. Oheb able to dodge it, but King also oh. gonna miss. They're gonna find Haji. He wings by wings out. And now it's Blacklist International on the hunt here. Still, RRQ Akira gonna back off. Edward there, though, in the bush. Wise working on the turtle for now. RRQ Akira, this is gonna be very tough to fight. Saigon still waiting for that dawning light to be available. The Takashi goes in here. Now the turtle's still gonna be worked on. Everything being committed. Wise with a heavy spin, able to secure the turtle. Pushing everybody back. Takashi though, deep into enemy territory. Can he get away from this one? It's four members of Blacklist International and you can't get away from that, Takashi. Definitely cannot get away with that. The thunder has been quelled as Blacklist rolls forward on this match. I gotta say right now, it is definitely an intense game four. The only thing that Brazil has going for them, and I was about to say it, but now it's not true, was they were even in towers. But at this point, Blacklist is coming in strong. Luis, oh. Luis, that is a misstep on his part. As that was three members, now King trying to come up with a cutoff here, but still gonna be the same situation. There's just too much sustain, not enough damage from Saigon just yet. 5,000 gold lead for Blacklist here in the eighth minute. And they're trying to push the tempo even worse. And here you go, Takashi. He's Done. gonna get pinned. He gets pinned down, heavy spin, able to pick up another kill here. And Blacklist International furthering their lead in this game four. It's so difficult, right? Because so far, like I've mentioned before, I do realize that Blacklist, they don't have a hard initiator. So they are relying heavily on Haji for these initiates. And it's working so well. And for the moment and for the most part, RQ Brazil, they haven't been able to even build that magic resist. We do see the cloak coming through for Luis, but it hasn't reached that point. Okay, there you go. The Athena shield finally being built, and he's the only person who can try and negate that much damage coming in from Blacklist. And the fact that he's only built it here in the eighth minute, ninth minute, it's no concern that Blacklist has been able to dominate this much already early on. Yeah, and I mean, the big problem is, is the fact that he's just getting to hold on a second. Okay, Wise though, gonna use the heavy spin. Luis gonna get locked down here. Gonna be a kill going over to Oheb as they find one from RQ Akira. They're still going around though. Wise gotta be careful. They're gonna back off. Feathered airstrike to follow up. Forcing out everything. And RQ Akira now down one member. Lord in the taking for Blacklist International. That is definitely bad. And before the downfall of Brazil interrupted me, what I was going to say was, 
the fact that they're just getting defense against Haji is definitely troublesome because now, as we're into the 10-minute mark, we have Oheb to worry about, who has gotten a lot of items in. Now King in trouble. Yeah, there's no way you can get out of there. King was trying to get the opportunity to go for that retreat still if he could. I mean, that happened, you know, we saw that happen to the Turtles, but by this point, Blacklist International are not going to let that happen. Definitely not gonna have to let that happen. But Brazil oh. wants to keep on fighting. They find Edward there. Oh, Edward, you can't escape that one. Gusa Lagusa able to pick up a kill. Feathered airstrike coming down. He's gonna sprint out of there. Now Wise committing the heavy spin, looking for a cutoff. Finds Gusta Lagusta. One he hit away, gonna be able to survive. And now it's King going in. Wise could be in trouble here, but the damage from Oheb is too much. Takashi now gonna be out of position, has to flicker out, still chased to the base, and just another hit away, Oheb, just showing those guns and now focusing on the tier two. Lord already marching down there in the top side as Blacklist, even though they lost a member there, they are gonna be able to still put that pressure in the mid as they're looking for more. Inhibitor turrets not taken down just yet, so for the moment, RQ Brazil, they're still staying relevant in the game. Although they are losing at 7,000 gold deficit, it seems like Blacklist have, no yet, have not found the means to be able to really penetrate through. You know, Takashi right now is literally hanging on for dear life with his team. I mean, literally hanging on to every member of Blacklist, trying to just buy Brazil some time right now. Every time he goes in that back line, he is surviving a little bit longer. We saw him get caught up one time, but now, hold on. Oh, no. oh. Coming down, look at the burst damage. Oh, Ohad picking God. up a kill. King, gonna be out of position a little bit here. He was waiting for the moment that they could find anything. Gusa Lagusa, is he gonna be stopped? He's able to survive a little bit longer. Still RQ Akira trying to hold on, but again, Oheb has the damage. 6-0 and 2 on that iconic hero of his. And they might be pressing the situation even further. Focusing on the top side, gonna go ahead and grab this inhibitor turret. King now finally back in the base here. Edward grabbed that bottom. They're holding on for dear life. Feather Dare oh. gonna be committed, and it's another one. Oheb able to secure another kill, pushing them back further. Wise cutting Gusta. off Gusta Lagusta. Edward on the follow-up, but should be able to get away here. Base oh, no. almost fully explodes. The flicker comes in. Can they still follow up? Gusa Lagusa still I mean, on the run. Where can he go? <laughs> Blacklist so International on the hunt here. He's buying time, but at what oh. cost? Still going, can't get the kill. Haji to clean up. Definitely a valiant effort though, and at least he pulls Blacklist away from the base, and he does buy time in fact, but just enough time for the Lord to be back on the map into the hands of Blacklist. But I gotta say, right, that was genius, because if he didn't pull that, they would have ended that game, but RQ Brazil, with that play from Gusta Lagusta, they're gonna be able to prolong and try and recalibrate themselves, recalibrate their mentality of what exactly type of gameplay that they wanna go for here, even though Blacklist is gonna be able to get this next enhanced Lord. But looking at the items, things are looking quite bleak, right? I mean, the problem is, Gusta Lagusta, she has her items, right? You already have the crit, you have the attack speed, but the problem is because of that range, because of how big that Farsa's ultimate is, he can't get close enough to deal the damage, and it must be so frustrating. Yeah, definitely very frustrating, especially the fact that Louise can't get in there to help at all, right? Every time he goes in, he's getting melted down, but the question on everybody's mind, can they defend this push? Well, they're gonna have to deal with it as Lord in the mid lane. Flicker's coming in. Takashi trying to make a play, buy some time and some space. They're still going at Edward in the backside with Electo final blow. Dawning Light to follow up. It's oh, not yeah. enough. Oheb does fall, but Gusta Lagusta as well. Both gold laners are down. Still the action ensues as Haji grabs a double. Takashi once again all alone here. Now Edward trying to push in the waves. Takashi trying to buy time. Three versus one in the jungle. They just can't get on. this guy off of him. And Edward, look at the end of the game. Electo final blow comes out. Feathered airstrike. Look at the time. Takashi finally falls. And Blacklist International one on. step closer to making history as they take the series. What are the Brazilian kings to the queen herself? Blacklist International with a stellar performance. 
they have sent RRQ Akira crawling back down to the lower brackets.